Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Waves. What's up, folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about layout gravity in Android. Now, if you guys are beginners, you probably saw this word layout gravity somewhere and you wondered what it does. As a beginner, you also saw another word called gravity and you wondered what is the difference between both of them. In this video and the next video, I'm going to talk about both of them separately the layout gravity and the gravity. What is the difference between them? What do they do? And how they allow you to customize stuff. So, here, if you see what is the layout gravity, it's very simple. If you take this black screen, you can say that that is the complete layout that is available to you. You have to place a view inside this. Now, if you guys remember, whenever you had a linear layout that takes the full space on the screen by saying match parent in both width and height, if you put a text view, it simply goes to the top left corner, right? Now, why only the top left corner? Why not somewhere else? Now, that's what your layout gravity allows you to control. If you guys see, there are many places where you can put views. There's law of left, top, right, bottom, center, center, horizontal, center, vertical, and there are many other values. Now remember, not every value works with every type of layout. Now, when you put a value which does not work with a particular layout, you won't see any problems, you won't see any errors. It's simply the user interface won't change, that's all. So don't worry if you don't know what value works and what doesn't work. You can try it out, play with it, and learn how stuff works, right? So here in this video, I'm going to talk about layout gravity specifically with respect to your linear layout. Now what values your linear layout supports, how can, what changes you can see when you put different values for layout gravity on the screen, and so on, right? As I mentioned again, a layout gravity simply controls where a view should appear inside its parent. Now remember, if the view and the parent are both of the same size, you're not going to see any effect of layout gravity, alright? So first, let's talk about layout gravity with respect to a horizontal linear layout. Now if you guys remember, horizontal linear layouts are those where your views are placed side by side in different columns inside the same row, right? So if you see something over here, let me actually show you what are the different the different places where you can put your views now this yellow green and blue boxes actually represent some views now they can be anything buttons text views edit text anything i've just kept some general boxes over here so that you guys can see some views now how and what are the different ways they can move if you guys see the yellow control can be placed all the way from the top to the bottom and the green control the blue control can also be placed anywhere from the top to the bottom without changing the columns remember in a horizontal linear layout, things are arranged in columns. Lay layout gravity values do not change columns. All right, that's very important. So that that being said, as I said, another thing, the parent is bigger than the view. You will see the effect. Otherwise, you will not see. For example, if your linear layout is wrap content in width and height, and you have a button inside it which is also wrap content, you are not going to see any effect of layout gravity when you vary the different values. You can go ahead in Eclipse and try this out. So when you have the first LO control, layout gravity equals to top is actually going to place it right in the default location. Now this can be top or it can be left, whatever, doesn't matter, right? Then here you have layout gravity is center or layout gravity equals to center vertical. When you put this value, your LO box will be somewhere over here, right near the center, all right? And there's another one, as you guys guessed, layout gravity is bottom. It's going to put your LO box over here. But anything other than this, right? I mean set a horizontal anything is not going to have any effect on this you can go ahead and try this out i have tried every possible combination of layout gravity values for a linear layout and that's why i'm saying this so now let me actually show you guys an example of what happens when the image view has been given different values of layout gravity for example here i've said layout gravity is bottom this is my image view this is going straight to the bottom right then if i say layout gravity is center it comes in the center now remember even though i have said center it should actually come over here right that is what your expectation is but as i said layout gravity does not allow the image to change columns so it remains stuck in the center vertical uh, zone right if, it, if you say center vertical this is the same thing you're gonna see but now if you say center horizontal then what is gonna happen is it's gonna stay and come back to the default location now as i said center horizontal for a horizontal linear layout is not supported it doesn't work so when you put a value like that simple android doesn't give you any errors it just places the view back in the default location right remember for horizontal linear layout layout gravity values do not change columns now let's actually talk about what happens in a vertical linear layout 
So taking up our second case where I was talking about the linear layout with a vertical orientation if you guys remember there is one control in a row now in this case everything is placed in a separate row right so if you see where the user interface elements can move they can simply move along their same row they cannot change rows over here as you guys probably guessed in horizontal linear layout they don't change columns with the values of layout gravity here they don't change rows right so what can be the different possible combinations well pretty simple when you say layout gravity is right you're gonna have this yellow box over here when you say layout gravity is center or center horizontal it's going to be straight in the middle of the row all right and then when you say layout gravity is left it's going to be at the default location where you guys saw it so let me actually show you some real examples of how this thing looks on your screen all right so here i have the same image view when i say layout gravity is right you can see the image view is on the right side now this is a vertical linear layout remember then when you say layout gravity is center or when you say center horizontal it's gonna stick in that same place but let's say if you put a value like center vertical then it's going to go back to the default location because this value center vertical is not supported by a vertical linear layout because you're trying to change the rows remember layout gravity values do not alter the columns in a horizontal linear layout and do not alter the rows in a vertical linear layout so this is all i have to say as far as layout gravity is concerned in the next video i'm going to talk about gravity which is the other attribute android gravity all right you guys can go ahead in eclipse and feel free to play and experiment with this i've shown you all the possible combinations that are possible with a linear layout if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day